Racism has been a problem in this country since its inception, with slave trade, Native American genocide, Jim Crow laws, and internment camps among its many manifestations. Racism is defined as any prejudice or discrimination against a person based on their race or ethnic group. While most people can identify that this is morally wrong, many still unintentionally subscribe to racist views. Despite the fact that the country has passed many federal and state-level laws to prevent the problems of the past from ever happening again, racism is still a problem today. Maryland is ranked 10. At first glance, Maryland doesn't appear to be a particularly racist state. It has the 12th lowest income gap by race, is the 11th most racially integrated state in terms of workplaces, schools, and voting booths, so it's surprising that 16.59 of Twitter accounts discussing race in the state used hateful or derogatory language. This is especially true given that many researchers believe that a lack of quality education is the main factor contributing to racism, and Maryland is the state with the lowest levels of both therefore, despite the fact that relatively few people currently act on their hateful views only 11 hate crimes based on race or religion were reported in 2020 this dark legacy of racism still exists, notably in the state of West Virginia, which comes in at number 9. People of color frequently express fear on Reddit about visiting West Virginia because it has a reputation for being the most racist state. Our data sort of supports this fear as 16.78 of West Virginian tweets about race used hateful rhetoric, but unlike in Maryland where the racism is primarily subtle many West Virginians are openly racist. Several Reddit users claim they frequently hear white people use the N-word, and many others advise POC to keep quiet and stay away. 8. Arkansas With signs like these and a former sheriff of Arkansas County caught on camera using racial slurs, including the N-word, it's not surprising that Arkansas made the list. What is surprising, however, is that it is one of only two southern states to do so. Many first-hand accounts claim that the South has the most in-person racism, however, that could simply be because the majority of the racist population in southern states is older and many older people don't use Twitter. 7th, Kansas. The data indicates there is a systematic problem with racism in Kansas, which is the first state on our list. I've been all over Kansas, and I'm honestly surprised it didn't rank even lower in Wichita. For example, it feels like there's a literal line dividing the black Latino and white neighborhoods. The same is true for the Kansas City suburbs, where as one Redditor put it, I think the problem is that the older generation have decided that minority influx or even the perceivable peril of being a persecuted minority is another Redditor user from rural Kansas noted you'll undoubtedly hear disparaging remarks about minorities, especially Muslims and undocumented workers. I suppose it makes sense that many elderly people hear racist views because some of them were alive when Jim Crow laws were still in effect. Unfortunately, some of that racism appears to have been passed down to younger generations of Twitter users as 16.95% of all tweets referencing race in Kansas did so in a hateful or derogatory way. The sixth. Wisconsin is a state that most people outside of Wisconsin don't know much about outside of dairy and watching the Packers play. However, in 2020 alone, 74 hate crimes were committed in Wisconsin, which also happens to be the worst state for racial integration and ranks 43rd for the income gap by race, even with the Milwaukee Bucks. Since many Milwaukee suburbs, like Brookfield, were created by racist practices like redlining and blockbusting, and since the city's schools were segregated until the 1970s, the president publicly weighed in on the matter, declaring that Milwaukee is the most segregated, racist place he has ever encountered. One resident of Brookfield shared their experience on Reddit, saying they have never in their 30 years encountered so much racism and prejudice. The fifth. Hawaii. The land of rainbows isn't colorblind, but the problem isn't what you might think. 
While 17.6% of tweets in the state that mentioned race were deemed offensive, further investigation revealed that many of the offensive tweets originated from ignorance rather than hate due to the popularity of rap music and simultaneous absence of a significant black culture in the state. One Redditor explains that you'll hear the N-word used frequently on the Big Island, but not by racists, but by people who are everyone makes remarks and jokes about race these days, but Hawaii is the least racist state in terms of institutional racism. It has the 8th lowest income disparity, the lowest employment gap, and was rated as having the finest racial integration of the workplace, schools, and voting booths. The 4th Mississippi before you get too excited, keep in mind that 18.59% of tweets mention race in a hateful way, which is a significant increase from Hawaii. Mississippi is the only Deep South state on this list, and even though most Reddit users agree that it is likely the most racist region in the nation, this study isn't perfect, so who knows? Maybe Mississippi is the worst, after all, they have the 8th largest employment gap by race and the 12th. The third, Maine. While the laws in the workplace in Maine seem to be actively anti-racist, resulting in the second lowest employment gap by race and the 17th lowest income gap, this doesn't mean that many people here aren't still racist or ignorant. Since more than 95% of the population in Maine is white and much of it is rural, many Mainers have never seen a non-white person outside of the Portland area, and this ignorance seems to be the basis for most racism here, as one Reddit user described they believe they're being humorous, but it's offensive, ching chong ching chong additionally. A lot of white people use the N-word and hold racist views toward the Somali immigrant population, which translates to the online world, according. To many Redditors. Additionally, 19.25% of tweets about race used hateful or racist language, despite Maine being about as far away from the Confederacy as you can get. The second, South Dakota. South Dakota deserves to be on this list despite Wyoming being right next to it and being one of the least racist states according to the study. In addition to the 20 racist tweets that were posted in the state, South Dakota also has the second worst employment gap by race and the worst income gap. Given that South Dakota is one of the least white Great Plains states with only 84% of the population identifying as white and a significant percentage identifying as indigenous, WalletHub actually ranks it as the third most segregated state in terms of the workplace, schools, and voting booths. I won't sugarcoat this because I have personally witnessed landlords and employers reject applicants solely from Native Americans. I was asked three times by the interview panel if I would pull individuals over merely because they were Native when I sought for a law enforcement position before I left. South Dakota has a long history of prejudice towards Native Americans, and it appears that it is still extremely prominent now. Before we move on to number one, please leave a like and subscribe, and let me know which state, in your opinion, is the most racist. First up is Delaware. Vermont was by far the least racist state with only 6.96% of tweets about race being hateful, so you can do better America and especially you Delaware. This may be both the first and last list that Delaware ever appears on as the state is just too small to really be relevant. No offense, but for now Delaware can say that 21.4 of users tweeting about race in Delaware did so in a derogatory manner.